What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Pioneer Guy 714, and welcome back to another edition of Northeast Ohio Firewood. Today, we're going to be going over one of my favorite woods. It's not really well known among firewood, but it's called crab apple, which a uh, little bit of a little bit of intel on it, which crab apples are actually, you know those little green fruits that look like apples the size of regular cherries. Well, yeah, those are those are crab apples, but yeah, they're actually they're actually pretty good to eat, but enough of that. Let's get on to the firewood. But so first off, I would rate it from my experience, another excellent. Honestly, this is probably my tenth excellent at this point. But it's good it's better that we have so many woods that I'd rate as excellent than poor, because a lot of woods out here are pretty nice, especially if you're in the hardwood forests of Ohio, but like myself, but enough of that talk. Let's get this bad boy split, shall we? Alrighty. Thankfully, we don't have to travel too far to split it. Alrighty. Yes, I'm still inaccurate at splitting at this point, but it's a, it's a work in progress, you know? Oh, hold on a minute. There we go. Alrighty. Now, this is fresh cut, so bear with me on this. Alrighty. That was pretty easy to split for its size, but... Alrighty, so I would rank it easy to split, so that was no time at all. But as you guys can see, it has a nice, has a nice beautiful red interior to it. It's... It smells good too. It's similar to wild cherry, but it's it's darker. I'll post a comparison. I'll actually I'll actually show you a comparison if you want. So when we go see the tree, but I would rank it pretty easy to split, and it also smells good when it burns. So enough of that. Let's go find an actual crab apple tree. Alrighty, guys. Here we are at an actual crab apple tree. I may have accidentally said cherry tree, but forgive me if I did. As you guys can see, it has. I'll get over here so you can see it. it. Has a similar bark to a cherry tree, but it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. It has. It resembles. Actually, no. It wouldn't resemble mulberry, but it resembles. The closest resemblances are cherry and dogwood. But yeah, they're. These fruit trees are known for having a lot of extra growth on the side, and getting very knotted and hard to split. But straight pieces of fruit. Straight pieces of wood are usually easy. But there have been difficult pieces like elm. So, alrighty, enough of that. Let's get back to the let's get back to the splitting base. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to mention the dry time. Crab apple dry time is typically six to twelve months average, like eighteen for best results, obviously. But also, but another thing, I also, all right. So in my in my right hand, I have. Crab, the crab apple that I just split, and my left hand, I have the cherry that I split from a previous video. So, thing is, they're they're pretty similar. I mean, but the thing is, this is this was split a, a while ago, back in the summer. But it's dried out a bit. But they're really they're quite similar. But they're this one's more like more colorized, if you will. It's more like it's more. It, it's it's hard to explain. I don't know art terms, okay? I failed art class, so anyway. But yeah, these, nonetheless, these are both very good woods, but I, so another thing, thing obviously I'd, I'd rate crab apple an excellent wood. I'd definitely use it. So, alrighty, thank you guys for watching, which the thing is for the next video, which is pine, we might not even be doing it on this property because we might have we might have a little bit of assistance so but you guys will have to wait and see maybe there will be snow on the ground who knows but alrighty anyways enough of that this is pioneer guy 714 saying good day and good luck <laughs> 